Podcast stuff showed up. Welcome to the Pull Up Vlog. My name is Sean Francis, and we talk everything fiberglass flicking sticks. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> and today we'll talk about 10 reasons you need to go to the pole vault summit, why the stretch reflex is important in pole vault, and bulking. But first, commercial time, commercial time, everybody loves commercial time. Guys, I just got two new goals up on Patreon. The first one is if we reach the next goal, I will hold a camp in Hastings free to Patreon members who have pledged $25 or more. Four days, one day will be a coach's clinic where I just talk to the coaches. Second day and third and fourth day. <laughs> <laughs> will be like I'll learn by doing. If you bring your athletes, they can participate. We can talk. I can teach you how to teach them. It'll be great. Goal two is if we reach that goal, I will make a 10 to 12 part online educational pole vault course going from never even seen the event to coaching kids over bars. It seems like something people have been asking me for a long time to do and it's just gonna take a lot of time and energy so I would have to give up the whole summer to do that. So I think it'll be awesome. If either or both of those sound like something you would like to support, head over to Patreon and sign up. Or if you just like these vlogs and would like to keep them going, sign up to you. And last but not least, join Team Hoot. It's 100% free, just go to team-hoot.com and be on my team. Because I'm really excited about the Reno Pole Vault Summit this year, yesterday I reached out on my Instagram why people should go to Reno at least once. But here are my reasons. All right, let's do a few from athletes and a few from coaches and we'll go from there and I'm wiggling around. From an athlete's perspective, you'll get to see one of the best competitions in the entire world. You'll get to learn different aspects of the sport from coaches from all over the world who have been doing this for years. You'll get to pick elite athletes' brains. Not literally, because that's gross, but you'll get to ask them all sorts of questions. It's pretty neat. Where else do you get to do that? You'll get to meet other athletes from around the country and the world and make lifelong friends. I know many of the friends I still have, we got to hang out in Reno for like three days and I still talk to them on a regular basis. Now from a coach's perspective, you'll get to brainstorm and network with other coaches all around the entire world. Whether you're a young coach or an old coach, you can share your information with the younger generation, or if you're a younger generation, you can pick the brains of the older generation. You also get to meet the people who inspired you to pick up stick jumping in the first place, which that's always been one of my favorite things. And last but not least, number one, for all athletes and coaches, you get to experience pole vault on its entire spectrum. From educators to athletes, beginners to elites, and local and international pole vaulters. They all come together for this and it's literally the Disneyland for pole vaulters. And that alone is enough for me to like, to keep coming back. So I hope to see you there. Maybe we can hang out. All right, stretch reflex and why it's important for sports and especially pole vault. So you know when you go to the doctor and they knock your knee with that little doctor hammer and you end up involuntary kicking the doctor right in the face? Okay, that's probably never happened, but you know what I'm saying. That is a stretch reflex. And why is it important in pole vault and sports? So your body is super smart and has- Now guys, if you wanna see the whole video on the stretch reflex, that one's for Patreon members, this one's for everybody. I got two emails last week, well this week, that, which is this pre- The first one said, I've been bulking for three months, now I weigh too much to get on all of my poles and none of them work and they all feel weird. And I, I just can't do it. The second one, I have an athlete who's afraid to lift weights because she's afraid of getting bulky. Kind of the same, we're talking about bulk on both sides, but let's approach both of those and try and answer some of these questions. All right, so the idea with bulking is to gain muscle. And a lot of people that don't know a lot about exercise science or how the body works, is you can't forget what's most important is the performance, your goals. What are you trying to accomplish? And training is a way to get there. It's like a bridge to get to your goals. So it's widely agreed upon that speed is the most important thing you can have in this entire event. Speed is king. So then the question becomes, how big do we need to be to be fast? It's a great question, Sean. I wish I would have thought of that one. 
Now, personally, I don't necessarily agree or disagree with bulking uh, in terms of the pole vault, as long as it's strategically implemented into your training program. The problem is most people bulk via supplements. They take a bunch of supplements. I'm gonna take these because I saw it in a magazine or I saw it on Instagram or I saw it on the internet and a bunch of these big dudes are taking big supplements and get big. So what ends up happening is it works. People get big. Athletes get big. People taking it get big. But they don't always get faster and they don't always get more powerful. They're not getting faster and more powerful because their movement patterns aren't adapted to that yet. Also supplements people tend to take make them gain fat instead of just lean muscle mass, which is another problem. Think of it this way. Imagine trying to run a full sprint or pole vault with a 10 to 20 pound weight vest on. Is it gonna be easier or harder? Way harder because the weight you put on isn't helping you move faster. It's just weight you put on. Now if you had that weight vest but it also had a jet pack on it, you'd be flying down the runway. And that's kind of what it's like to have good mass versus not good mass. So you have to be careful if you're taking supplements. With anything, you have to decide why. Why and how is this going to help me reach my goals? If you just wanna get huge, bulk away. If you wanna jump higher in the pole vault, I'd stay away from it and try something else. So if you guys are gonna do this, my recommendation would be stay away from supplements and just try upping caloric intake of healthy foods throughout the day. Find foods that are gonna help build lean muscle mass and when to take them. In college, I helped run a wellness center, our school's wellness center, and people would come up to me and be like, I don't lift weights because I don't wanna get big and bulky and look like a dude. And my response I used to say, which I don't know if I can say it anymore, is, first off, you're not gonna work hard enough to get that big anyways. <laughs> it's true. Secondly, girls don't have enough testosterone in their body to make them look bulky like a dude, and if they did, they probably already look like a dude. Now back to my first point. Female bodybuilders lift one to six hours a day. They're taking all kinds of supplements and they're lifting to try and look huge. Do you plan lifting one to six hours a day, taking a ton of supplements and trying to lift to look huge? Doubt it. If you were to look at an elite pole vault girl, Katie Najat, Sandy Morris, Eliza McCart, any of these girls, they all lift a lot, but they lift for their sport. And the word that never comes to my mind is bulky or dude-like or manly, not once. Another thing to put into perspective is last year Mondo had the second highest jump in pole vault history outdoors. No one has jumped higher except Bubka outdoors than Mondo. And he weighed in at a whopping 145. Overall, just remember to ask why, on both sides of the fence, why you're deciding to add this bit of training into your overall training plan, or why you're avoiding to take this training protocol and putting it into your training program. And then just figure out what adaptation you want that's gonna help you reach your goals and then get after it. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. A huge special thank you to all the Patreon members and special thank you to the 25 and up Patreon members. Your names are listed right here so you can be immortalized in the vlog forever. Guys, remember, there are more than one ways to pole vault. I just told you a lot of different ideas. There's a lot of other ideas on how to do it too. So if you agree with me, cool, try it. And if you don't, well, that being said, life is meant to be experienced and curiosity will get you there. I will see you guys next time.